Morgan and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another hair video. It's a wig and it's a bang wig and it's not a bob this time which I'm super excited to try. Um, and this wig is from Yero Hair. Hopefully I said it right. It's Y-I-R-O-O -O hair. So uh, from what I'm looking at this wig, it looks very, very thick, which I'm really excited because I love some thick hair, okay? But before I get started to show you guys what it looks like on my head, I want to uh, get in close so you guys can see what the wig looks like inside and the unit and all that good stuff. Okay, you guys, so this is the wig. I know it looks a little crazy right now because it's on my hand, but as you can see, here are the bangs. But I just want to show you guys really the inside of the unit. So it is a lace wig and it does have a part right here where the bangs are um, and it has adjustable straps at the bottom as you can see and it has combs on the sides, two combs on the sides and in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this lace off. Um, I usually cut the lace off while it's off of my head because I'm scared like I'm going to cut my face or something. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and come back so you guys can see what it looks like on my head. Alright, so I am back and this is what the wig looks like right when I put it on my head after I cut the lace. So of course I need to go and style it but I just want to show you guys what it looks like first. So it is 14 inches and it comes down to here on me. I'm five foot three. So it comes down to there and the bangs look a little crazy right now because they're like flip whatever way they want to be. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and style it and I think I'm going to try to cut some layers on the side just so it frames my face more. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be back. Ooh. Okay, so I'm finally done styling my wig and uh, you know cutting it and doing all that good stuff. So the first thing I did was I took my curling wand and at the top I just like pressed down on the top of the wig because there were a little frizzy so I just did that just to get the hair you know to be flat down so I won't have all that hair sticking up you know. Um, and the next thing I did was I combed it through and I straightened the whole unit and I was trying to see if I wanted it, wanted to wear it straight or have some like kind of body waves whatever you want to call this in it so i did go around and i added these and this is from the curling no from the flat iron y'all i'm not good at doing curls on a flat iron but i tried my best so it just has these little waves curls whatever you want to call it so i did that i thought it would be super cute if i had it like this and then i went into the bangs flat iron the bangs and I did cut probably like this much like off of the bangs because I wanted my face to be seen more. I felt like it was too like closed in on my face. So I did do that so you can see my, my cheeks I guess like this area and I think it looks better than when it was like that. Everybody's face is different. I think I just look better when you know, more of my face is seen and not hidden. But yeah, so I did that and I absolutely love this, you guys. It's so cute. And like once you style it and get it to how you want to fit your face, um, it's a super easy protective style to wear. If you just throw it on. Um, I did not put any of the combs down. I did tighten the back of the wig just a little bit so it can be tighter. Um, it did come with it did come with these elastic bands or elastic straps that you can put on, but I'm pretty sure you have to like sew these on because there are no hooks inside this wig. Usually there's hooks that you can just put in and you know clip the elastic bands in, but there aren't any. So you could easily just sew these inside to make it tighter, but I don't think it's really needed for this wig because it does fit really nicely. And a lot of times wigs fit my, I feel like I have a big head, but a lot of times wigs fit, I mean, don't fit my head and I have to end up using that. But this one is fine without me adding an elastic strap. The combs are up in here, but I didn't comb them down. I mean, I didn't comb them down. I didn't put them in. Um, and it did come with, um, this wig cap, which is black, um, but I never use black wig caps, so yeah. I use a wig cap I already had just because right now underneath here, my hair is in four like braids and 
If I put the wig on without the wig cap, it'll be a hot mess because the combs will get stuck in my hair and all that. We don't want that. So all I did was put a tannish wig cap on, a light brown wig cap. And then, yeah, so you guys can kind of see like the parting, which I really like this wig because it does have the lace on it and it's not like, you know how back in the day you get a sew in and you don't have any of your hair left out and it's just like a circle. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but y'all might know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I just like it because it does have the lace and it looks more natural. And as far as the bangs, I do like the bangs. I might go through and like thin them out just a tiny, tiny bit, but I do like them like this and they don't bother my eyes. I feel like they're right, I don't know where they are, like right above my eyelashes. Um, but yeah, you guys. And also the weight came in this cute, pretty bag. Um, it doesn't have the company's name, in, name on it or anything. But it just came like that and it's a good way to store the wig if you're not wearing it if you don't have a mannequin head y'all i have so many wigs like i don't have any of those mannequin heads to like store them on because i also don't have any space in here for it so i usually just store the wigs like in those bags or like the boxes that they come in so i can remember where the wig is from okay so let me tell you the details about this wig so it's from a Euro hair, like I said, and it is the straight hair. It's 150% density, which is great because I love thick hair. And this is like a really, really nice density for this bang wig. Like I really, really like it. When I saw it, I was like, ooh, this is a nice, you know, has a nice feel to it and all that. And so since the wig is also like 150% density, it's super, super full. So here's all the hair like, pull towards the front. I like my hair like one side back and one side in the front, but here's what it looks like. And it's very, very, very nice. It has a really nice density to it. Um, and it's so smooth. I just run my fingers through it. It just feels so good. No shedding. I don't have any tangling or anything like that. So it's 150% density, um, a 13 by four transparent lace front wig with bangs and you guys it's 14 inches it's only a hundred dollars and three cents which is great um let's see anything else it says slightly beach knocks pre-plug natural hairline glueless um so yeah 7a great quality virgin hair so you can color this if you would like but yeah i'll leave the link to this wig below in the info box and all that stuff but I really like this wig. Like this is a go-to like, if you just wanna get up and go type wig, if you wanna change your look. And then I've added these earrings, which makes it like really cute. So I'm loving this wig. Please let me know what you guys think about it, if you like it or whatever. And thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye you guys.